question number 32 pure metals have options high conductivity low temperature quotient high conductivity high temperature quotient low conductivity zero temperature quotient low conductivity high temperature quotient fine this is a simple question again a question based on material science I think 99% of the students can do 50-50 for this question that is metals will have high conductivity that everybody will tell because if you take a metal if you can't if you pass the electricity to it definitely it will conduct it will not say no so easily you can eliminate C and D because it doesn't have low conductivity now the problem is you need to know whether they have high temperature quotient or low temperature quotient you should know if you can uh, get th different I mean what is temperature quotient if you can know this answer then your answer is done now let me explain pure metals will they have high temperature quotient or low temperature quotient let me explain see metals generally 99% they are solids I'll explain in this manner so that you can easily understand solids again go back to your school concepts it's like suppose I'm considering a small solid okay I don't want to draw all those things okay so in this solid the atoms are tightly packed same school concept so it's not a rocket science so atoms all are tightly packed so in liquids let me draw quickly liquids what happens is they are little loosely packed okay they are little loosely packed when compared to solids whereas in gas they are still loosely packed okay hardly you can see four to five okay this has the status of gas now what happens every atom will vibrate it is in it has some life okay it's like every atom has some life okay they are active okay so they will vibrate here it will vibrate here it can vibrate to a larger distance larger area it can vibrate because it has space it can vibrate okay so it can vibrate even this can vibrate but to a smaller area it can vibrate it can vibrate to a smaller area when but in solids the atoms will vibrate that you cannot notice at all they will vibrate definitely they will vibrate because every atom will vibrate so the vibrations in the solids are very 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 low they are not noticeable okay so what happens is even if I give some higher temperature if I heat this solid what happens you know the atoms they are so good they are so kind nature that they still they'll vibrate with slow energy because they don't have space to vibrate a larger extent suppose if I heat this gas suppose if I heat this gas if I give some heat then this will vibrate something like there is an earthquake is coming in such way they'll behave it's like some people will uh, if small problem comes they'll a small even a small problem comes they will react in a normal way but there are some kind of people if even if some small problem comes they'll yell at everyone they'll feel like that is the biggest problem of their life you should not be something like that so solids are very good enough even if i give a lot of temperature also they'll not show on their face okay they'll vibrate very slowly and that vibration cannot be noticeable even if you give lots of temperature this indicates that if any atom or any body if, if suppose if any human being if he is able to tolerate any kind of problem then what when you say he is a very good person he has highest tolerance capacity he has highest tolerance capacity we'll say in such manner right so similarly see if i if any person is there if he is if he is facing so many problems some so many directions if he is facing then what can you call he can tolerate any problem highest tolerance capacity he has what you can call this fellow highest tolerance capacity he has because he can tolerate anything similarly our solid is also behaving same way it can tolerate any kind of heat hence I can heat is nothing but temperature in other words it can it can it is said to have highest temperature coefficient very similar and analogy I give I hope definitely you have understood this concept so try to memorize the pure metals unlike solids they have higher conductivity and higher temperature quotient i felt this is the best explanation i can give so by which you can easily understand this material science question so if you have any queries post them in the comment box and subscribe the channel for getting more updates and also lectures video lectures on various questions thank you